Hi everyone, welcome to the episode and in this one I'm going to talk about uh, my stock earnings for November but I'm also going to talk about my biggest regret uh, regarding stock photography and that is uh, that I didn't start doing this 10 years ago. Uh, at the time I was reading a lot of forums and doing some research and I was unsure whether it was worth my time or not. And I listened to a lot of doomsayers on the forums and they were all saying uh, stock photography is a rip-off, it's not worth your time, you're only going to sell your photos for 25 cents and that's just a total rip-off of my art. Um, so I listened to those doomsayers and I never started it. Four years ago uh, I began to think about it again because I was reading about other stock photographers who were making a lot of money and I also loved just the concept of uploading my photos to an agency and having them deal with the customer as a freelance photojournalist and video journalist. Uh, I always uh, found it quite tiresome uh, finding customers, whether it was a magazine, approaching the customer for a story and a photo uh, story, and then having to deal with the long waits between answers and uh, possibly rejections. Uh, and also once uh, you get the contact with the customer, dealing with the customer's expectations there's a lot of hassle involved uh, and I was getting a bit tired of it to be honest. So I thought stock photography would really fill that niche where I could still do what I loved and that's photography, uh, photography and videography but I didn't have to deal with that tedious side and that was the customer. Anyway, four years ago I started getting curious again and again those doomsayers were there saying uh, they're ripping you off for your art, uh, it's not worth your time. But this time I ignored them and I started a project uh, to upload as many photos as I could of different subjects and over a period of 12 months uh, reassess to see if there was any growth. Uh, if there was growth then I was going to continue, if there wasn't then I was going to stop. And to my surprise, I saw that there was growth. Uh, there was a huge learning curve involved, getting used to the uh, agencies and what their demands were on my photos and the way I presented them. Uh, plus, also I learned a lot about what kind of photography I like to do and which uh, photos and videos actually are the ones that sell the most. So what I'm saying now is if you're in my situation four years ago or even ten years ago uh, and you really love doing photography and videography, you have a heap of images on your hard drive uh, and the process of keywording and giving titles and captions to your photos isn't daunting to you, then set yourself a target for six months or twelve months. Uh, and upload photos and videos to these agencies and assess if you have seen any growth uh, in your uh, earnings or in your portfolios. If you have, then maybe you would like to keep going. Or if you haven't, maybe you want to give up. It's, it's up to you. But uh, whatever you do, don't just listen to those doomsayers without trying it out for yourself um, because I, I listened and I regret it. Anyway, enough of that and let's get into the earnings for November. Okay, we'll just start off with some highlights now and one of the highlights uh, was of a photo that I took in uh, Rotterdam during my tour of eight cities in one day video which was the first video I ever made on this channel. Uh, so if you want to see how our stock photographer photographs eight cities in one day and becomes a walking zombie at the end of that day, take a look uh, in my video archive. For that photo I made one dollar. Another highlight was um, of a photo that I made of the Markthole in Rotterdam and the Markthole is kind of uh, 
like a modern uh, architectural aircraft hangar. It's a semi-circle or a kind of tunnel and it's got these massive 30 or 40 meter high windows at each end which lets in huge amounts of light um, and inside uh, there's a, uh, a market, uh, a food market and I think other art uh, shops and stuff and around the outside of that uh, hole in the middle you have apartments and they have windows that look down into the market. It's an amazing building and uh, visually it's quite spectacular. Anyway, I sold a photo of that for seven dollars. Another highlight was I sold uh, an image of a pile of cigarette butts uh, that were on the ground and I sold that image three times for a total of $2.97. Uh, who says microstock isn't glamorous? Probably the biggest highlight of the month for me was that I sold four videos. And although two of those videos were of the usual northern gannet trapped in plastic lying on the beach, uh, another two were of different subjects. And one was of a KLM aircraft taking off from the runway of Schiphol Airport. I went to the airport one day uh, and there's a viewing area um, a little bit away from the uh, from the uh, runway, forgot I forgot the word for runway, and I was able to video aircraft taking off and landing. Um, and another video that I sold was when I was in Amsterdam one day doing stock photography. There's a video about that if you want to check it out in my uh, video archive. Um, and there were a heap of trains going in and out of Amsterdam Central. And I was lucky enough to get an international fast train, uh, the Eurostar, as it was coming into uh, Amsterdam Central. And all up, uh, those uh, four videos made me $75. Uh, so it was a good month for video this month. Okay, now I'll talk about uh, some agencies. Um, I've just learnt that it's against the, uh, many stock agencies uh, terms and conditions to actually disclose uh, earnings of those agencies and some of the images and videos that you sell. So I'm going to have to be pretty general uh, in this so that uh, none of my accounts get blocked. Uh, so forgive me if, if it's a bit general but I have to do it to uh, protect my portfolios. I hope you understand. Anyway, the uh, agencies Dreamstime, Big Stock, IEM and Deposit Photos, uh, in total they earned me $6.16 this month. It's not a lot, but as I've spoken in previous videos, uh, these agencies are also affected by the downturn in the economic climate at the moment and I expect when I start uploading more to them and the economy turns around a bit that those uh, agencies will also start uh, earning more money for me. Okay, and now to uh, the bigger agencies, the more successful agencies for me, which is Pond5, Adobe Stock, Alamy, iStock and Shutterstock. In total I earned for those agencies and the most successful of those agencies was Shutterstock where I made a huge sale for one photo. Okay, before I talk about the total amount of money I made from stock photography and videography in November, if anything in this video has uh, provoked any thoughts or creativity or helped you at all, I'd appreciate it if you uh, slapped on that uh, like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel feel free to go ahead and do that and maybe ring my little bell as well. Anyway, the total amount of money I made for November in stock photography or microstock is $749.11. It's, I can see a trend of increase in my earnings again uh, in the last two to three months. So that's a good sign. Anyway guys, I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you next week. Bye!